TV! We could be using this crank and like in the past you and I had discussed um, the heat treating of cranks and stuff like that. Correct, yes. And um, and we could go down that path. I mean, what's the what's the advantage of heat treating that crank if we did stick with a standard one? Well, basically just once we put a very hard skin on this crank, what it does, it, it promotes better um, oil flow on the bearings and it prevents the bearing, bearing from galling on the pin um, and it allows um, the wear resistance of the crank to be much higher. It also adds a little bit of strength, but that comes with other things too, us opening the radiuses up, um, polishing the crank down, shot peening it, um, they're all more strength adders. Yep. Um, but yeah, it, all those combined make a really good crank, but once you start doing all that work to these, you know, you're up, it, it becomes quite an expensive operation and, and they're really, once we do all that work, they're not much less than, than, than stepping it up to a, to a billet crank. The other thing too is if we build an engine for these, once we go over a thousand horsepower, we won't, we won't warranty it if it breaks. Yeah. And that's, that's purely because we, we still um, crack test them, but we can't get into the middle of the crank and have a look at the grain structure. And I think you said the other day as well, like, I mean, this is a pretty nice looking crank, but um, in some instances you were saying you just go and buy a brand new one from Ford as a starting point. Cause Again, we don't know the history, history of it. Yeah. We just don't know the history at all. And, and this could have, we can test the surface of it with, with the equipment that we've got here, but what we can't test is down in the middle of the core. If there's mm. an air bubble, if there's a pocket, if there's a crack starting to form, we just don't know. Yeah. So, and that's where, like you've just mentioned, we could like spend a heap of money on this crank. Or we could just go to this, which uh, I have picked up today. This is my new crank, prior to um, getting some other work done to it. But this is the PPM crank. So explain to me what model crank this is and what we're going to be doing and, and how much power this is good for. Yeah, so this is a 4340 steel crank. One of the benefits you can see quite quickly, actually, if I roll it over this way, is you've got no counterweights here and here you've got counterweights. So it's a fully counterweighted crank. Yep. What that means is it's going to have more stability at RPM and the crank's going to have less flex, especially off these two pins.